up, everybody? My name is Vince, and we're here with our special guest. Actually, you're not really, you're not that special anymore, Jimmy. <laughs> but he is a guest. He's our DeWalt specialist, our resident DeWalt specialist. And it seems as though Jimmy here has pulled a few strings. And why have you pulled... Jimmy, why have you pulled a few strings? Well, I've been super excited to check this out. I've been actually contacting DeWalt for the past month trying to get my hands on one of these. And Vince and I were actually able to get them to send this to us all the way from across the pond because these aren't even available in the continental United States at this point. Not yet. So where do you think these came from? They actually did. They just came right from Maryland. Oh, okay. But if you wanted to buy them, you can't here in the U.S., You've been asking for these. You've been asking. And we finally... I've been asking. You've been asking. You've been asking. And now, through furious effort, Jimmy has made it happen. Let's see what we got. Here's the deal. We're going to use... Do we, we even tell them what this is yet? We can't open them up. We gotta read the box first. Oh, boy. I apologize. I mean, we, 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 they might not even know. For, for some of you that are tuning in for the first time to the channel, you might not know because you might not have been asking I for them. I got so excited because I knew what it was. These are the Walt Extreme Subcompact Series. The Walt has decided to reinvest, is that right? Or invest in reinvent. their. Reinvent their 12 volt line of tools. I gotta tell you, some of the specs on these tools. Especially the impact driver, pretty impressive on paper. We have to check it out. We might not check it out today. We're just no, going to get, yeah. get these unboxed. But what's it say here? It Jimmy? does say here that on the drill driver, you have 32% more power and 20% shorter. What they're comparing it to, I'm not exactly sure. They must be comparing it to me. But it looks like some version of a brushed full size drill. Yes. It's probably their own drill, possibly. Most likely. And then your impact driver has 52% more torque. That's pretty impressive. And 19% shorter. 52% more torque. I'm interested to, to see how that stacks up. But these are brushless tools. This is their brushless two tool. I believe their combo kit. I believe their former 12 volt line was brushed. Now this is their drill driver. Drill driver and impact, impact driver. driver. I'm not sure. Comes with it, two. It's not a hammer drill, correct? No. It does come with two two amp hour batteries, a charger, and a bag. I want to check out that charger. I've heard some stuff about that. I have that. I have one of those chargers. From from our friend Little Milto. Okay, he is over in the UK, I believe. But this is kit number. Yo, I will say one thing about the Walt that they make awesome. And that is usually kit numbers and names. Pretty easy. Like their 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 driver kits and drill bit kits have the whammy, like is one of the names. The whammy. It's like a dance back in the day. Do the the whammy. There, yo, if you know what the whammy is, leave it down in the comments section. So I thought this, it was no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. No, this is the whammy. Do the whammy. Okay. DCK 221F2. Okay, that's the that's the prop part model kit number for this. With their 12 volt lithium ion brushless set, they're giving you two year battery warranty, two year free service. On the tool, you're getting three year limited warranty, one year free service, 90 day money back guarantee. So look, the drill driver, this is a drill driver. It's not a hammer drill driver. You'll see, max power, 250 unit watts out. That's the unit of measure that DeWalt has decided to use for their drill drivers and their hammer drills, okay? And a lot of people ask us to do a conversion from unit watts out to torque. Okay. Inch pounds and, and pound feet. And you know what I tell them? You can't, there's no easy, there's no easy way. I would say Google it. There's no equation. When you Google it, Google will tell you there is no easy way to do that conversion. Interesting. But what you can do to come to some type of conclusion about pound feet of torque or inch pounds of torque would be to compare it to a, a similar tool, okay, or multiple similar tools. And if, it's slight, if it does the chores slightly slower or slightly faster, it's in the ballpark of. You get a range. A comparable tool. Okay. 
That's one way. But you'll see here, max RPMs on the drill driver, 425 in speed one, because it's a two speed drill driver. Max, max RPMs is 1500 in speed two. We got truck settings, 15, or clutch settings. Sorry, clutch. <clears throat> truck size. Here's a gripe people have been having about the new extreme line is that they're, they're, not Half inch. they're not particularly happy with the 3 8 inch truck. What do yeah. you think about that, Jimmy? I would have liked to have seen a half inch, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see once we get it open. And I believe, and I've not... It's a plastic chuck, it's most a, It's a plastic well. chuck. Yeah. I like a metal chuck. I don't, I don't know what it is. It just feels more sturdy to me. I mean, I've never had a chuck issue. This is the thing. If you have a, a, if you have a, a, a keyless chuck... It's got to be metal. If you do have a keyless chuck, though, you're not putting a uh, you're not putting a key on there. Is it is it really a deal breaker if it's plastic? Leave it down in the comment section below. Is it a deal breaker for you? I don't know that it is for me. Hashtag just saying. You got we're gonna we're gonna confirm these measurements. But 5.97 inches in tool length, tool weight 1.91 pounds. We'll confirm that as well. We're on the impact driver here. The wall actually uses inch pounds. 1,450 inch pounds to be exact is what they're stating, which is a pretty impressive number. It's not bad. It is a pretty impressive number for a 12 volt tool. We're excited to test this. You have three speeds as well. Speed one, 950 RPM. Speed two, 1,950 RPM. Speed three, 2,850 RPM. The collet size is quarter inch. The max impact per minute is 3,600. The tool length is 5.05 inches. And the tool weight is one and three quarter pounds. Crazy. Let's get it unboxed. Jimmy's already on this. Well, the tape was coming off, so I figured it was telling me to open it. Go crazy. It was telling me to open it. So let's see, what do we have in said box? So first off, oh, everything's in the bag. Hold on I, a second. I really like when they put a bag with all the contents inside the box. I like that. Okay. Let's open the bag. Let's open the bag. What do you think of that bag before you do it? What do you think of the construction of the bag? What do you think of that zipper, Jimmy? It's not a YKK. Everybody loves the YKKs. It's a good zipper. YKK makes a good zipper. Is that YKK? What do you think compared to a YKK? I mean, it'll it'll hold up. I mean, I could see I, I could see this. The is whole... that the kind of zipper? Okay. Is that the kind of zipper like you know around the holidays? Okay. You might you might you might have indulged too much. Okay, and you put on that pair of slacks, you probably shouldn't be putting on. And just to bring it all together, you need to pull up. You need to pull up a strong, sturdy zipper. It's not that strong and sturdy. It's not that strong and no. Okay. No, not just, for uh, just check. At least not for my holiday meals. So in here, you have your two instruction manuals. Let me see them instruction manuals. Do you need these? I don't. You want to read them? You can. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these aside for later on. Because this is good reading. Yeah, I have, a, I have a drawer full of them in my basement. You can have them all if you want them. I thought you would keep them next to the, to the, to the turlet in the magazine. No. So first we have... I'm excited about this. The impact driver. What are your feelings on it? I like the settings up top here. Here we have our drill driver. This is, this is handsome. Guess what? I like the feel of this already. I like I the size. It fits my hand well. I'm gonna say the rubber over mold here. Not bad. I'm a fan so far. And while you do have a plastic chuck here, you have chuck, chuck. all metal in the back of the gear case here, and it seems like solid construction. I mean, it doesn't feel flimsy, it doesn't feel cheap. So, let me ask you a question. I like it so far. How do you feel about the actual dial on the chuck? Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. I mean, like I said, the back of it. I was forced to go pick these up. Is is uh, a metal here where you actually grab the clutch setting is plastic, but it gives you some grooves here and notches, so it's easy to maneuver. And then you got your one and two, typical on the top. And just like the um, 887 and 996 and the larger brothers of these tools, airports here on your sides. And on the back, what's the uh, weight on that baby? Let's see. 
no battery, weight is? One pound, 14.6 ounces. Now here's the deal, that's without the belt clip. And you know how I feel about not having my belt clips installed. So weight on the impact driver, the weight clocking in here. Looks to be one pound, 12 ounces exactly. Awesome. Now here's the deal. They have a couple of batteries in there. We have a charger. That is a charger. You know what's great about this charger is that it's a DCB112. It will do the 12 volt and 20 volt batteries. Yep. And they have the same base, so there's no need to... I don't know what you mean. What do you mean, Jimmy? Same base. Same slots for the batteries. It's not like Milwaukee where you have the 18 volt and the 20 volt are completely different styles gotcha. of batteries. Gotcha. You have Vince's favorite belt clips and two, two amp hour 12 volt batteries with three bar indicators on them, similar to their 20 volt older brothers. How much do these weigh? Batteries, you're looking at 7.7 7 point, 7 ounces. 7.7 7 ounces. They're cute little batteries. There's only one thing, there's only one thing about a two amp hour battery on, on a nice compact tool like this that, that I, I, I'm not, they're cute. These are cute batteries. The problem is, is that for me, I would be using these tools or, or I will be using these tools or you might be using these tools or Mikey J, Norman. Somebody's gonna be using these tools in an installation type capacity for precision driving and drilling. And that usually happens in kitchen settings, cabinetry, things of that nature. I'm not a big fan of being able to stand these, these tools up, okay, while, while you're working in those. I'd much rather place them down like this. Yeah. And so you don't damage your material, your finished cabinets, your, your, your countertops, especially when you have drill bits in here. You leave them up in here, somebody bumps into it, knocks it over, or you go to pick it up, it slips. Now all of a sudden you chip the countertop that you have to fix. Now, um, you know, look, this is the deal. Is it a deal breaker? No. I'm just saying what I've become accustomed to or prefer in, in that instance. Quite frankly, you know, if I'm gonna be handling, look, if this was not a flat battery, I would be forced to lay it down. So, instead of being forced to lay it down, now I'll just force myself to lay it down, right? Because I'm gonna be more careful, more responsible in those situations. Battery and belt clip installed. You're looking at a total of two pounds, 7.3 ounces. I will tell you this much. It is a cool looking little, little compact package. And it doesn't look, it doesn't look toyish. It looks like a machine to me. It looks like a tool. It doesn't look like, sometimes tools can look like transformers and they look like toys to me. This, this doesn't look like that. I will say this, when it comes to the drill drivers, getting them compact, I think that DeWalt's doing a pretty good job. But, let's confirm that. Length of the drill driver is 5.99 inches. Okay. 5.97 is what is listed on the box. 5.997 is what we got. Okay. Width of the tool at its widest point is 2.25 inches. What does it say there? Does it it give you doesn't width? have width, no, just length. Doesn't give you a width. Total height of the tool is 8.52 inches. Okay. Pretty cool, pretty compact. Now, let's move over to the impact driver. Let's go to the tallest point of the impact driver. You're looking at 8.50 inches. Pretty cool, pretty compact. I know everybody, Jimmy, you know what, man? Everybody loves very, the specifics of the tools, the measurements, the weights, each and every detail. You know why? Because nobody wants to read the manual and everybody wants to know what they're getting. So you'll do it for them. They want to know what they're getting before they buy it. Width of the impact is 2.23 inches. 
not quite as wide as the drill driver. And then total tool, tool length okay, is 5.06 inches. The fully dressed weight of the impact driver. With its belt clip. Stand it up. Remember, this, this tool stands up. Is two pounds, 4.7 ounces. Now, how's the switches feel to you? Switches feel okay. Like I said earlier, I mean, you have decent notches here for gripping and making clutch settings. So this setting seems to be a, like a, a self-tapping mode right. here. Okay, self-tapping or self-tightening mode. Okay, then there's a low mode and a high mode. I'm really excited. And the one thing that I think that the Walt does really well I like, especially on their impact drivers, I like their LEDs. I like the, LED, the three LEDs on the, on the cone like that better than the one LED at the bottom because sometimes what you're working on, you can't necessarily see. You know, if you're working up on top of a shelf or something, you can't see this light gets cut off. Yes. So I like the lights in the cone ring. You know, there's another manufacturer that actually puts... Yes, that's what made me think of it. The LEDs right on the chuck. Yeah. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty it's nice. Pretty cool. It reminds me of an Audi, or as they say, Audi. Now, here's the deal. How, how much more compact are these tools getting compared to, let's say, its older brother? We had a friend of the channel actually send this over for Jimmy to run. <laughs> DW72 sent this over. Now this is, I guess, the previous generation of 12, 12 volt impact driver from DeWalt. It's DCF815. That's the brushed version. So this is the brushed version, right? Is that what you're saying, Jimmy? No variable speed to it. I will say something else. These older style batteries have no... No indicators. No battery indicator, okay? My, my, my question is, feel that. How does that feel? Feels okay, I mean, nothing. Are those, are those LEDs working? Oh, yeah. they are working. Yeah. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Batteries are the same size, though, as the new ones, I believe. Well, that's a good question. Will these new batteries with, with the indicators on the front of the tool, mind you, not at the back of the tool, will they fit on the old tools and vice, vice versa? Vice versa. Yeah. So they, they work. So if you're already on that 12-volt platform and you wanted to get some of the new extreme tools, you can, because they're backwards compatible or, or frontwards compatible. Reverse engineered. They're reverse engineered to work with all like tools. Like Velcro. But we wanted to say thank you to D, DW72. Yeah, thanks a lot for sending it over for us to use. For sending this thing over, right? Yeah, we're going to put it to a test. We're going to put it to a real test. You know where we might put it to a test at? I have no idea. In Tool Test Raw. What's that? You don't know what tool test rolls? I have no idea. Well, go check that playlist over there. Now, I will say this. Look at the size difference. There's a big size difference. I mean, the extreme is a little taller, but it's definitely, definitely shorter. shorter. In length. It's a little bit wider, though, if we look at it. And here's the deal. I feel like the length is the dimension that would keep you from accessing tight spaces, right. more so than the width and the height. Right, because again, I'm thinking, and in terms of like a cabinet, if I'm installing cabinets, and I have like a small corner cabinet or something, and I gotta get in, mm -hmm. and I don't have a right angle drill, or I don't wanna use a right angle attachment, I just wanna come in there with my 12 volt, I can get in and turn into where I'm fastening, where this, yeah, it was a, it, you could probably still fit in, but it's a little bit wider. You may not have as much maneuverability inside. Gotcha. I agree. So I figured we might as well compare it to, just visually, a couple of other DeWalt offerings. These are the Atomic. Which is supposed to be the compact version. This is their new compact version of their 20-volt tools. So this is supposed to fall somewhere in between the 12-volt line and the 20-volt line. even though Full-size. Full-size 20-volt. So, right, this would fall somewhere in between there. And quite frankly, I feel that they've done a good job with 
the atomic drill driver, okay? I feel that the atomic impact driver, although it, it, it is a pretty reliable tool from what we're finding, it's a little big to be called atomic, right. in, my, so in my opinion. What I would like to do, and you guys can let us know in the comments section below if you'd like to see it, even though we're going to compare this to other 12-volt tools, yes. I think I'd like to compare this this line of 12-volt, the newer 12-volt extremes, to the atomics. That's a good idea as well. Because here's the thing. If this outperforms that, then I have no need for that. This is the other thing. I, I, I feel like you're kind of correct. Look at the size difference of these two tools. Plus, this 12-volt tool is, is much more feature-rich. Exactly. It has multiple speeds. The, the atomic does not. It's much smaller than the now, atomic. Now, is it powerful? That's why I want to test Let us know in the comment section if you want to see us test it. But this is the thing. People, people argue, and I would argue, that you need compact tools for fine detail work. And then at that point, wouldn't you want an even smaller tool right. with more features, like a precision drive mode and a low and a high speed? Yeah, absolutely. Let us know what your thoughts are down below. Do you already own the Atomic Tools? Are you looking forward to getting the extreme 12-volt line? I gotta tell you, I like 12-volt tools. I was excited that Jimmy got them to come over to their den in Camden. Let me ask you a question. Is there, what do you think? Pre preliminary test, should we drive a couple screws? What should we do? Yeah, let's, let's drive a couple screws. I'll tell you what else. There's definitely a feature you don't see in all 12-volt tools. What's that? Quick insert collet. Connect. Quick insert collet, which feels pretty good. As you can see here, it has a single ball on the flat of the collet too, which in our experience makes for a pretty reliable collet. <laughs> no, preliminarily. Preliminarily. It seems pretty good. Now here's the deal. You didn't come here to see us Back screws out. You see, you came here to see us put screws in. Try some screws in. So, Jimmy, you want to do the honors? Should sure. I do the honors? I got to okay. tell you. Let's go on the other side. I'm kind of excited. I will say this. Both of these kits, these driver kits, pretty awesome kits. I do like one better than the other, though. They're both the wool. If you want to find out why I like one over the other, go to this link over here. Now, you want to drive some just one-inch drywall screws, inch yeah. and five-eighths. I mean, it's it's so light and wieldable, too. It's just, it really is. Jimmy, you seem like you're getting pretty excited, Jimmy. Easy to maneuver. So let's see. Smooth? Smooth. I mean, I mean Johnny Blue Smooth? Johnny Blue Smooth. Okay. I'm going to go in low speed, see if I can... I mean, I wouldn't use that mode for driving these screws, but got the job done. What do you want to do? Go in the, in the self, uh, the precision driving mode now? Yeah, try nah, it out. come on. This is an unboxing video. I don't give them too much. But what we can do is give you an opportunity to leave a comment down below. Do you want to see more of this extreme line of tools? How do you want to see them? Do you want to see them in a long-term test? Do you want to see them in a tool test draw? Also, do you want to see more offerings from the 12 volt extreme line? Like these, screwdriver Ooh. and impact wrench. Ooh. Let us know. Why didn't we unbox these in this video? Because we didn't want to hear any crybabies go, ah, your videos are too long. <laughs> Ah! Leave it down below if you want us to do another video on these two offerings, because we'll do it. You know we'll do it. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every single one of you being here. We appreciate... We appreciate the Walt for sending these over to us. We do, and I appreciate you reaching out yeah, on behalf good. of the viewers that have been wanting to see this. And to each and every one of you, I appreciate you and everything you do, all of the views, all of the likes, all of the shares. You want to see a line of tools that we're not 
showing here on the channel, tweet at that company. Instagram them or something. Hit them up on social media. Hey, we'd like to see some of your offerings reviewed by the very cool guy. We appreciate you doing that. With that, I want to say I appreciate every single one of you. I think I said it already, but it never hurts to say it twice. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one, Jimmy, right? The Absolutely. next one. Can't Jimmy. Wait for the next one. Jimmy, you come back and you help me unbox these two. Absolutely. If they want to see them only, though. Only if they want to see them. Yo, DW72. Thank we, you. We appreciate you. Absolutely. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe 